Hello everyone and welcome back to a new round of the daily game news here at the nearby. My name is Asus and with so many Pokemon news, it's just fascinating. Plus other things as well, new GPU tools and such. So let's just jump right in. First bit of news is actually, where is this $60,000 Pokemon card? Yeah, a Pokemon trading card was actually sold for $60,000 and it has been chipped via the mail. Sadly, this uh, is the end because so far it's not being found anymore and this happened already a year ago. The card in question is this trainer number three card. It was given out by a promotional tournament and uh, yeah, it's one of the rarest cards in the game overall. The whole thing was actually sent uh, via insurance and everything. So you would have thought like, okay, yeah, yeah, if there's insurance money and everything, it should probably arrive at the destination but so far nope it's been missing and it's definitely worth something it's not like diamonds where you can say like oh i just you know bring it back and check the market somehow this is like a rare single only card so if you find this anywhere you know exactly where it's coming from who actually owns it and you can't really resell it so why even bother stealing it? Well, if you have any information about that, the YouTuber SMP Red has uh, apparently all the information and contacts to the real people that actually made the deal. So if you know anything, just let them know. And what I can let you know is apparently that Pokemon fans are yet again exhausting me, but still also furious about <laughs> Pokemon Sword and Shield. And that is about that Corgi's Pokemon, but Wiggle, because the Empire apparently has a Wiggle, and, and they say when they decrease the amount of Pokemon for the national decks that they wanted to focus on more animation and then you see in the latest trailer animations aren't that great and one of them is this Pokemon not having really a butt wiggle but more like a left and right side sway so yeah that's that. Seemingly of course Pokemon can't do anything right with Pokemon Sword and Shield so it's probably gonna like really crash when it launches on Nintendo Switch or maybe not maybe people are still buying it that's the thing right now nobody really knows except for many people are really mad about the game and rather not hyped but in Pokemon Go at least there it's actually working quite well and we have new statistics here from Sensor Tower and they estimate that Pokemon Go has made 2.65 billion US dollars in revenue since its launch three years ago that means people have spent 2.4 million dollars in the game every day since launch it was downloaded 521 million downloads and here's the interesting part the us accounted for 35 percent of the growth spending close to 928 million dollars japan has contributed 779 million euros dollars so that's 29 percent of the 2.65 billion and in country place number three we have actually germany with 159 million us dollars six percent overall contributing to that money pool i gotta say that it's interesting that Germany especially is that large of a contributor but then again I still see people playing this game here contrary to other countries maybe they don't do that anymore there's even more statistics here so of course you can stop the video read it here or of course check out the link in the description down below and then we move on to Dr. Mario which is now coming soon to free to play mobile game market and apparently yet again Nintendo is uh, overdoing it a little bit with the microtransactions the full review can of course be right here on IGN and I'll just leave you to it because it takes too much time to cover that. Also, just know it, as I saw before, microtransactions are yet again in there and they're probably not doing well. Then next up for Nintendo Switch Online games, we get soon a rewind button next to the already cool suspend menu where you can also save state a game. Yeah, having a rewind button for some retro games, that might not be the worst idea. And for Animal Crossing Pocket Camp, there's a new promotion happening soon with Hello Kitty. So if you still play that, maybe that will also steal more of your time because it's such a cute thing to play. Check out, of course, also our Twitch streams, which we do almost every evening around, you know, 8 p.m. CEST. Sometimes or later, sometimes we skip it. That always depends on how I'm doing, of course, as well. But every second day or so, you should definitely check out twitch.tv slash the new bite. Thanks again for watching and I hope you have a nice day and talk to you soon.